Hi and welcome back to Warframe. This is a quick one for update 11.7.3. In this they've added a nice feature which as you might know there's two different enemies that'll come after you. You've got the... I keep wanting to say something else but it's the Stalker and if you defeat any of the bosses from any of these planets apart from Mercury Captain Vore is immune to this. Is void from this whatever you want to call it. All the rest of them, if you fight them, the Stalker will come after you. And the Stalker can drop... Oh, I thought I'd double click that. The Dread Despair, or Hate. That's the Despair, that's the Dread. That's the Hate. The Sickle's the Hate, the Bow's the Dread, the Throne Knives are the Despair. But he drops them in one piece as a blueprint, you then have to use resources to build them can take a long time to actually get them because the despair is such a short a small drop rate it's ridiculous but you never really knew when he was after you you literally just you do a, a mission take earth for example you take on vi heck up here obviously at the minute there's an infestant infestation mission going on so that doesn't quite work but you take on a boss then go do some random missions, see if he come after you. If he didn't, you just go back and do a boss, because you never knew when he was after you. Now, you do, because you will be sent a message. This is the one for the Harvester here. And you'll be sent a message from the Stalker, saying that the Stalker is now going to come after you once you're eligible. If you're already eligible, you won't get a message for either until you've fought them. Bit of a shame, but... It's a bit of a shame because the stalker refuses to come after her and because you won't come after her, we're already eligible for him and I can't get the message to pop up. I do like this broken pixel here. You can see it just at the top of the, the mouse pointer there. That's actually part of this window. <laughs> if we close it, it goes away. Open it up, comes back. There it is. It's just one weirdly damaged pixel. Wish you could zoom in on it. Now, to get this message, which is basically saying the Harvester, which is just a, a grey version of the Zanuka that you fight when you fight Alad V, to get this thing to come after you, you've got to do one of the operations where it's the Corpus versus the Grunier, not these ones, which is whichever faction is on that planet versus the Infested. It's the one where you choose the side you want to be on. The problem is, I can't show an example because that missions aren't available right now which sucks but you do one of these and you side with the Grenier so you're fighting against the Corpus if the Grenier are invading Corpus it is a little bit better if the Corpus are invading Grenier it should still work it has they did verify it has nothing to do with the Greedvious Dilemma event so if you're new to the game and you didn't get to play on that, that's fine. You just do. I don't know how many it is you've got to do to become eligible because I've done. What is it? I did 15 yesterday. And this popped up this morning after that update. So. That just means I wasn't eligible before. Now, if you are eligible for the Harvester or the Storer already, this message won't pop up yet. But, I like the idea of this message popping up for the main reason of the Harvester, if it kills you, your Warframe's put into jail and you've got to do a mission to get it back. Apparently you've got to do a mission to get it back. I'm not sure on that one. I, nobody will verify it for us and I know you're going to jail because somebody told us earlier that that's what happens. If you lose, you'll be put into jail. Doing the mission to get it back, I'm just assuming because people were talking about something like that when the Harvester first came out. But if you defeat the Harvester, it will drop the Detron. Yeah. The problem is, it'll drop the Detron blueprint, and then you've got to collect the three pieces for the damn thing. So you've got to fight this guy a minimum of three times. That does seem a bit backwards, but at least now they send you a message, so you know if this thing is after you. 
not to do something stupid like take a, a rank 6 Nyx into a, a battle that that guy will come on. Now, I don't know what missions this guy will come on. The only one I can verify is Corpus missions. If you're fighting against the Corpus, it'll come after you. I would have thought they would have done it so you've got to fight on Jupiter. Because that's where the Harvester lives. That's where the Zanuka project happens. It's Jupiter. Because that's where you fight Alad V. Just here. Alad V. So I thought they would have put it on this planet. But apparently it's any Corpus planet. But as I say, they don't really know. Because the thing won't come after us. Now I know why it wasn't coming after me before. Now I know it's going to come after us. And I've got a level 6 Nyx here. I need to level up. So... I'm not really sure what the hell I should do now, because I don't want the thing coming after me and taking my Warframe off us. I mean, I've got enough parts to rebuild Nyx, so I could let her go. But I've just formed her for the first time, and I don't want to lose that form, because I had to buy one. I'm using Platinum. <laughs> but we'll leave that off here for now. As I say, the message system here to tell you that you're now eligible for... The Harvestat to come after you, or the Stalker to come after you, is really useful because you're going to know to avoid certain mission types. Boss missions, they don't tend to come on you, or after you. So if you're, if you're trying to get a new Warframe and you're getting the parts, then you're immune from the Stalker while you're harvesting, or farming I should say, a boss. Which is pretty handy. But we'll leave that off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.